Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Carly. I'm Miss Alana. And we're so glad you could join us for Storytime, where every week we love to share songs, tips, and activities about our weekly theme. And this week we are celebrating Arbor Day. Arbor Day, how exciting. We'll learn more about that in a little bit, but first we have to do our hello song. This is called Everybody Wave Hello and it's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Will you guys join us at home? You ready, Miss Silvana? Yes. Let's, let's do, do it. That. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, let's have some fun. Everybody clap hello, clap hello, clap hello. Everybody clap hello. Now our song is done. Good job. If you'd like to be included in our hello song, send a short 5 to 10 second video of your little one waving to library at buckeyeaz.gov. Miss Carly, I know we're celebrating Arbor Day, but what is Arbor Day? Well, Arbor Day is a day set aside for the planting of trees. And the first Arbor Day was held in Nebraska in 1872. That was a really long time ago. And more than one million trees were planted in Nebraska on that first Arbor Day. That's so many trees. Yeah, that's so cool. Right. While most holidays celebrate something that has already happened and is worth remembering, Arbor Day represents a hope for the future. The simple act of planting a tree represents a belief that the tree will grow to provide us clean air and water, cooling shade, habitat for wildlife, healthier communities, and endless natural beauty, all for a better tomorrow. That's awesome, Miss Carly. Miss Silvana, what are some ways that we can celebrate Arbor Day at home? We can plant some trees, go to the store with your parents, trying to find nice looking trees. Do you can have some shade for your home? Mm -hmm. If you can't plant a tree, you can always read books about trees, enjoy the outdoors, and Arizona is so pretty now. You can go for a hike, mm -hmm. go see all the different trees. You can talk about them with your parents. They can explain to you, like the Arizona trees, desert trees. We have pine cone trees, too, mm -hmm. um, all that. Those are great ideas. Mm -hmm. Why don't you guys see what you can do at home with your family to celebrate Arbor Day together? activity to share with you guys about an apple tree. And we've got some apples on that apple tree. Let's count how many apples we have. One, two, three, four, five. Can you guys show me five? Good job. All right, it goes like this. Way up high in the apple tree, five little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. One fell down and the apple was good. Nom, nom, nom. Now how many apples do we have left? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Way up high in the apple tree, four little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. One fell down and that apple was good. Now how many apples do we have left? Let's count them. One, two, three. We've got three little apples. Way up high in the apple tree, three little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. One fell down and that apple was good. Yum, yum, yum. Now how many apples do we have left? One, two. We've got two apples left in our apple tree. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. One fell down and the apple was good. Now how many apples are left in our apple tree? Just one little apple. Way up high in the apple tree, one little apple smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. It fell down and the apple was good. Yum, yum. Now how many apples are left in our apple tree? No more apples, we ate them all up. Thank you guys so much for helping me count my apples. Here's a quick tip. Grab a few books and head outside. Bring along a blanket to sit on, find a tree to lean up against, or cuddle up in an outdoor fort. Read together or allow your child time to him or herself, whichever feels appropriate. This is a great way to celebrate Arbor Day together. Today we have a really fun song called I'm a Little Pinecone, and it's to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. 
And we have some pine cones right here. They are brown and small and they fall from pine trees. And we found these ones right outside the library under our pine tree. So together we're going to all pretend that we have little brown pine cones in our hands like this. And it goes, our song goes like this, ready? I'm a little pine cone, brown and small. I live in a pine tree, oh so tall. When the cold wind blows, I dance and hop down to the ground with a plop, plop, plop. Let's try it one more time. That was awesome. Yes. All right, get our pine cones out. I'm a little pine cone, brown and small. I live in a pine tree, oh so tall. When the cold wind blows, I dance and hop down to the ground with a plop, plop, plop. Good job, that was so much fun. Today for our home activity, we're gonna show you how to make hand print trees in honor of Arbor Day. So all you'll need is some paper, and if you have paints, you can use paints and Q-tips. If not, you can use markers or crayons. And the way I did this one was I traced my whole hand, including my wrist, to make the um, branches and the trunk of the tree, and then I painted it with brown paint. And then I used a Q-tip and made a bunch of different colored green leaves on my tree and it turned out so beautiful. And then I wrote yeah. Happy Arbor Day on it. So pretty these colors. Thank you. And for this one I used, if you don't have paints, you can use markers. Again, I traced my hand with the wrist to make the tree and I colored it with brown marker. And then I just used different color markers and made dots all over to make the leaves. Miss Silvana, can you tell me about how you made yours? Yeah, I had some brown paper and I just traced my hand on the brown paper and cut it. And I just put it in this white sheet. And the same thing, I used a cook, I have some Q-tips at home, some paint, any color you have at home, it will work. Mm -hmm. Just make it as pretty as you want, creative as you want. If I didn't, I make another one. I didn't have any more brown paper, so I traced my hand in the white paper. And I used crayons this time, and I just color it brown. And use the same crayons that you have to put all the leaves around and just be creative. Those trees yeah, are beautiful. I love so them. Cute. So many different ways to make trees. Yeah. And it's an awesome way to celebrate Arbor Day at home. Check out these books featuring our theme for this week. Available at your library. Visit our website for more information at buckeyeaz.gov slash library. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you guys had a lot of fun celebrating Arbor Day with us. And have fun making your tree. That's right. And make sure you guys join us next week to see what we'll be learning about then. But before we go, we've got to do our closing song, Skin and Marink. Will you guys join us? You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Skin a marinky dinky ding, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky ding, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. Now it's time to go home, but I'll see you soon. Oh, skin a marinky dinky ding, skin a marinky do. I love you. Bye, guys. We'll see you next time.